she never has stopped trying to learn new things as set in her ways as I'm sure she is and if she's not going to stop then I'm not going to stop learning and nor do I think should be. The theater curation project was born in the spirit of stewardship over the art, craft, and history of the theater. Its purpose is to curate these stories of our mentors and what they passed on to us to be a resource for future generations. Its goal is to preserve these stories and the lessons within them from being lost forever. Hi there. I'm Sky Brandon, and I have the honor of talking ever so briefly about the great Martha Henry. Uh, it's kind of hard to sum up everything that Martha has done for me and countless others in just a couple of minute video, but I'll try my darndest. Uh, I joined the Birmingham Conservatory under Martha's second year of uh, taking over the program from the great David Latham. and. Uh, I was trying to think about what I would speak about, and I could speak at length of her specificity in which she brings to the table as an actor herself, or of what she asks of you if she's directing you. I have countless sticky notes still um, from conservatory days and rehearsals and other plays. Um, I've kept each and every one and dust them off from time to time, but that would take a long time. So what I decided to talk about was her concept of as many tools for the tool belt as one can gather. Uh, the first day that we gathered in the conservatory, she said, not only to me, but to my fellow conservatory classmates as well, that she was just trying to equip us with as many tools for our tool belt as she could give us, and that we might not agree with everything that's thrown at us. She might not herself buy into the concepts that various teachers and coaches were throwing at us, but she thought it was important that we get as many different experiences as we possibly could because there might be something, even if it wasn't the whole concept, there might be something within that that opens a door for us. And something that doesn't work now might work five years from now, and so on, and so on. And it's an idea that I've used um, myself as an actor, and if I happen to be directing or even teaching uh, drama students now, is just imploring them to try everything and not to put up a roadblock before you've even attempted something. Um, thanks, Martha.